Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So we have a new mid-range build on the block, and it is dragons. That's right. So we have some really powerful new dragons, and generally they are uh, basically all available on Tavern 4. We have the new Nightbane, which is an in-combat effect where the attack of Nightbane goes to two other cards, and if you get the golden one, four other cards. So if you have like a 50 attack, Nightbane, well, two things get 50 attack in combat. Golden one, four things get 50 attack in combat. We have this new dragon that has divine shield, pretty important to note, that it adjacent dragons keep their in combat stats. So obviously, it works pretty well with that Nightbane effect, it works pretty well with giving in combat stats, in combat divine shields. It's also pretty important to note that this dragon, the effect is kind of a persistent aura. It's not like a start of combat thing. So you can actually trigger on a pretty large amount of your dragon board, not just the two things that start near combat. You can have Nightbane right beside it, so it gets the start of combat buffs. And then when Nightbane dies, you can have it so a different dragon moves b beside the permanent combat buff thing and receives the Nightbane effect. So there is actually a pretty cool predictive skill element to this build as well. And you can imagine this dragon works pretty well if you have two of them. So it is a really powerful mid-range build, but it really shines when you have multiple copies of tier four cards. So it doesn't seem that absurd because until you have multiple copies of these tier four cards, it doesn't go too crazy. and you know, tier four is kind of like a, a tier where in a shared card pool, you can have most of the lobby playing the build, but you can't really have most of the lobby playing the build when every single person trying to play mid-range dragons in this case needs multiple copies of the same four drops. So it seems to be in a pretty good state overall. And more importantly, I found it pretty fun to play them. So check out my first run on live solo queue, and I hope you enjoy it. Like, I had every reason to go for that build. I had a good number of the starter dragons. I knew it was going to be the best build in that lobby. I was the first person to be able to get it. I was playing a hero that had high likelihood of getting it, and no one else was playing dragons. And like five turns later, I found like one of the dragons I was looking for, but not the most important one, and I lost to someone that had like four copies of the card I've been looking for the whole game. Like, that's just crazy. Ready to enter the tournament, champion? I guess I'll do that. That one's a rookie. Play your best out there. And the crowd goes wild. That was a good play. I mean, I like it because I have the lasso, but yeah, I don't particularly care for those dragons. Are there any other dragons on two I really care about? Honestly, not really. I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll just go for that, actually. Uh, I don't think the deck trackers are updated. It has an update. Let me know. I'll try to load it up now, but it'll probably just crash. Play it didn't crash, but it doesn't have an update yet. Light is a bit too bright. Yeah, we're gonna need a solar eclipse to fix that though. Keep your chin up. Nice. Gotta build up a team somehow. Salama, a shalanore. You have beast in this one. I think beasts can go over top on dragons, but game set and match. Guess we'll see. Go ahead, Togo. I've got my permits. Yeah, the fours are just so much stronger. Keeping score is a lot of work, but I love it. How's 
the game go? Okay. East buffs, huh? Wonderful. Quite good with the Wind Fury, but I'm not gonna freeze for it. A lot of beast players. There's always excitement at the Argent Tournament Grounds. Wow, this is so lame. Seriously? Two losses to Lich King and zero to everybody else. Got it. Looks like a tense game. Wow. Watch out! I'm moving here. A strong athlete. Well, I'm probably more likely to keep that one, I think. Beasts yeah. for everyone. <laughs> Thanks, man. Maybe I don't freeze for that. Want a whole bunch of other dragons instead. No more Slamma. Best Niz. Yep. Play your best out there. Everyone's going beast anyway. Lost two. So, what's the skull? Abs is playing beasts. Jesus Christ, okay. First, no. Just have to hope the Gosa works. Play your best out there. It's not too bad. Beasts again. So it's beasts, 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 beasts. I'm playing dragons. Wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, end of turn plus four is pretty good, actually. My dragon wrath is yours. Uh, I think beasts are quite good, but usually if six people play the same build, they should all lose miserably because that's kind of the point of playing auto battlers with shared card pools. So when six people play the same build and then they're winning, which is what happened with beasts for like the last year, it's uh, not good. Now this is pretty early. This is like my third game on a new patch, so that doesn't really prove anything, but it is it is a concerning first look, I would say. Yeah, Card Thief Heroes definitely plays a role also. Losing twice the Lich King, I just killed him. Nice. So, yeah. That's turn nine. This is reasonably strong for nine. I do need a level though. And the crowd goes wild. It's not the best dragon, but we had a lot of pressure. Also, I guess... Oh! Biggles went Quillbore. That's a mistake. You can go Quillbore, but not on four. Yeah, Quillbore on six is definitely OP OP. I'll never forget my first tournament. And the crowd goes wild. Thirty one plays well. Why does it show that he killed Lich King? I killed Lich King. Guess we have a few new bugs. The other cards are pretty useless. Out a triple. Yeah, I suppose. My dragon wrath is yours. You tread on sacred ground. No, I should attack first. I guess since those are wasted, maybe I should do something like... No, because it needs to be that. Do I really want... No, that doesn't work either. Hmm. Suppose I could do the Nightbane first. I don't know if I like the Poet Freeze. I can't really get enough out of a Battlecry transition. Yeah, I think I have to leave it at that. Play your best out there. Pretty weak otherwise, just all in on cleave, I guess. Score! Like I just crushed George, so pretty concerning stuff. Your team. You know what, that that looks pretty good to me. Look beyond yourself. Well it can't hit that, so maybe I should do something like this then. 
I don't really expect to win if you crush George, so... Okay, so this will keep the buffs. This will keep the buffs. And this is going to make one of these three golden. And they're all keeping buffs. Thing is already golden. This will not keep any buffs, but the only buff it could realistically get is the Nightbane. So... I think that's fine. Giving the ghost a shield. Yeah, guys, it's turn 12. We got a lot of the cards I was looking for, like the other game, but we just got them a little bit slow. This is like a combat scaler, so you kind of need to get them a little bit, you know, a little snappy. Beasts. 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 Me. Not beasts. Getting crushed. Beasts died to beasts. This guy was playing beasts, went quillbore, and died. And beasts. Wow. This guy just beat George, who hasn't, like, lost since, like, turn three or something. So let's see what a powerful beast build might look like. In your future. Just a bunch of garbage. Good, yeah. A little late for a Gosa again. And yeah, that would that would do it. Hit the first. Okay. Gotta trade him out now and then. A strong athlete. So, Yulwant will have to hit the Amber Guardian, because it's the lowest. Suppose we want to attack with that first, then. Because we don't want this to receive the buff of Nightbane. You're today's top scorer! That card golden is not really that big of a deal. It's fine. Okay, so... Can I hit, like, some of those, I guess? So this will hit one of those three. This will hit... one of those three. I could do, like, that. I think that's fine. Fine, let's do a new hero power. I don't think I need more stuff. Sure. Wow, 33, what the hell? Dude, maybe, maybe Quillbores are gonna make it here. Good luck, MVP! Good. I'll just keep us now. Okay. Score! <laughs> I 
Now that has shield. We'll hit these. So those two will keep shields. And I want that. I first, so that can keep the rest of the buffs. A strong athlete. When you have space during combat, summon a 3-3 three, three beetle, 3 left. Oh, wait, what? That's a lot worse than I realized. Mid-range dragons. Mid-range dragons are really, really good. Just want to point out, these are the strongest scalers because the golden version keeps double the stats. And uh, they are my last cards to get golden from Yulon. Even though we're playing Ysera, we could have gotten the dragons quite a lot faster. And we could have had much better RNG with them. This will lose to undead. I don't know. I don't know exactly where undead lands anymore. You're at the top of the board. See how it lose this. This is not an absolute shoe in. These tokens do pretty well against the shields. Yay, dragons! Oh, thank you, Cacophonic. 25. 